Hi there, my name is Ariel Pierre. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We're out on my parents' farm today on this beautiful crisp fall morning and we're going to help winterize the raised beds and plant some fall crops. So if you clicked on this video hoping for some expert country living tips, um, sorry to disappoint. Uh, this is um, our first time living out in the country. Oh, my parents just moved a year or two ago and we are learning to um, put our passion into action and grow our own food, live off the land, and just lead a very simple life. So we're learning from others and we really just want to document this journey so that it can be an inspiration to all of you. So I hope you guys are inspired and learn along with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the wind. But we'll just use it our imagination. It's such a joy to have the little ones out with us on the farm today. We're here in the greenhouse and everything looks really healthy. It's nice and warm and humid inside and it looks like all the plants are flourishing. So today we're going to plant some cabbage, broccoli, Swiss chard, and bok choy. These are actually from our raised bed video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link at the top. Um, they didn't do too well in the raised beds because there was not enough sun. Um, so we decided just to bring the plants to my parents' house and see how they do in the greenhouse and even outside on the raised beds. What is that? This is ghost pepper. Wow. You probably want to use gloves. Oh. Need gloves just in case. Wait, everybody stand apart. The juice might fall. All right, let me give it a sniff. Ooh. You can smell it already? Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I can smell it from here. That will linger for the entire day. Oh, man, that stains my nose. Yeah, he's a dare, dare devil. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> good. Ooh. That's a bottle. Let me get some and I, I literally just took a little, little tiny, just kind of sliver with my teeth. Ooh. Hoo. Can I taste? That is Definitely ghastly. Not. Eat it in a, a barbecue <laughs> like a sauce. sauce or yeah. <laughs> That, th that has a kick. Mercy. <laughs> Are my eyes watering yet? Is my nose running? You need some water, babe? I think I'm okay. I only took a little bit, but if I had taken any more. It looks like a cute Yikes. So this is the well water? Uh-huh. Ooh. We got about 25, 25 to 30 gallons per day. Uh, there, there's a rainy season. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't, I haven't, I'm not sure exactly when that is. Having these jugs on the property to collect water is really important. As you know, in country living, water is essential. And to have this as a backup if anything happens is a real blessing. What are we doing right now? Just aerating the soil. Today we're going to go ahead and prepare our beds for winter. The frost is coming in November, so you want to get prepared for that. And we are going to plant some of our fall crops here. And we're going to put half out here and then half in the greenhouse and see how that does. 
Experiment. This is the this is the cabbage. Ah uh, yes, cabbage, broccoli, Swiss chard. Swiss chard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. I like to not use gloves. Why don't you use gloves? It's good to get your hands in the dirt. It can be very beneficial. I've heard for brain health. Mm. Kind of like walking barefoot. Which you did a lot as a child, didn't you? I did. I had an awesome mother who let us walk barefoot <laughs> out in the backyard. We want to give a quick shout out to Mommy and Daddy Pierre down in Florida. They're doing their gardening too and just want to thank them for instilling in Jubair the love for the outdoors and for nature. Yeah, than... We have some beautiful red leaf lettuce. So where are we going to plant this? We're going to plant it over here. A red leaf lettuce or lettuce, it enjoys cooler temperatures. And not too much sun? Yeah, that'll prevent it from bolting. So maybe about four to six hours, depending on the lettuce, is what you want. So we're planting it in kind of like a zigzag kind of space it out well and just easier for picking. That's just the way that we're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. What do we got? What is that? Oh, oh that's, baby. that's I see. Yeah. Okay, so that might have been what was eating yeah. the... Mm -hmm. And then it's, go check it outside from. Wow, I don't want to bring, bring that in there. Always have these little critters. Right in the middle. Mm -hmm. By maintaining soil health and plant health, you can keep them away. Yeah. You know, really? The yeah, you manage the pests, and the thing that have the good soil also create uh, uh, attract the the good animals, the good insects that eat uh, those. Ah, interesting. Yeah, because they're attracted to the healthy because the healthy plant, and so if there's any. Um, hmm. um, of the insect, I would, I would, uh, That's the lesson in there. Yeah. The good mm -hmm. soil. Good soil. You need the good soil. soil. It's all about the soil. Wow. We also have about five persimmon trees. We picked the persimmon that were ready and ripe, and my mother made a delicious persimmon bread. It was similar to banana bread, except you use persimmon instead of banana. You know, as we were out on the farm today, I just find it so beautiful to know just to see the children out with us and hear them and just to know that there's three generations of us out on the farm cultivating the land just having wonderful family time together it's priceless it's beautiful it's so inspiring to me and with so much going on in the world today it's just so nice to just take in God's nature and the beauty and enjoy family and togetherness and just the gift and the precious gift of life. It's been such a great day. We did a lot today. 
um, planted and got the greenhouse all situated in. My dad thoroughly watered all the plants and we'll go ahead and winterize the raised beds. Either put down leaves or mulch just to make sure that they're not exposed during the cold months. And then that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining us on our country living journey. We really pray that you're inspired. Um, wherever you are in life, may you live abundantly and joyfully um, and just moment by moment. You know, these times are hard and really um, just unpredictable, but I'm just so thankful that whereas I don't know my tomorrow, I'm so thankful that God does. And I'm learning to put my trust and faith in Him daily. It's not easy and sometimes I get very frustrated and very resentful, especially for things that, you know, have happened even recently that really hurt. But I'm um, just being out and taking hold of God's nature and the beauty of family and the gift of life. I just choose to believe and I just pray that God continues to grow my faith and grow yours as well. All right. Thanks so much for joining us and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.